Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Sport Trek 336 VRK. That means it is a rear kitchen floor plan as you can see here. Big countertop space, beautiful solid surface. I think they did a good job of having a light and dark contrast. And in the middle of the RV, you have an excellent living area setup. You have theater seating directly across from the TV and entertainment center, plus an additional sofa. So I really think they did a great job. Let's actually start on that entertainment center. So if you take a look, you will see all across the top, you have glass doors. And if we open that up, folks, that is a big storage all the way throughout there. I think they did a good job on that. Both sides, you'll also see storage here. The one side contains your multimedia center. Of course, that is Bluetooth capable. DVD player there as well. Nice big TV in the center, which I love. Rather than having, you know, just a little guy, they definitely maximize the space. So that way when you're sitting in that theater seating, you have no problem viewing it. You'll also see the fireplace down below. Now folks, this is one of two fireplaces in this RV. Now, what I want you to remember is that it's not just for aesthetics, right? Like while yes, it does look nice, more importantly, that is a space heater. So if you wanna kind of take the chill off in the space, but don't wanna use your propane, and you know, you're not paying for electric at the campsite, that fireplace is a great way to go. As we take a step a little bit further back, you will also see in this slide, you have your free, <coughs> excuse me, freestanding table and chairs here. So four chairs, plenty of room if you have a couple guests there, windows all the way around, which helps let in some natural light. Even the window on the side of the slide opens up, which is great. Beautiful decorative light fixture and electrical outlet here on the side, in case you need to plug in like a laptop, tablet, something like that. Then along the back is the kitchen area. So you'll see here, these are all adjustable shelves for your pantry, so that way you can customize it to your needs and wants. Norcold fridge freezer combo, open that up so you can take a look at the space in there. Plenty of room. Big drawer down underneath, great for some pots and pans. You also have this huge storage area again, perfect for pots and pans there. Making our way up a little bit is the oven. If you want to do some baking, it's a Ferian unit, so you have the recessed cooktop with the glass cover. This just folds up and back like so, gives you access to those three burners there. Then you'll also see the decorative backsplash. Looks absolutely beautiful, and it's actually somewhat functional. You know, this is definitely easier to clean than a wall board. Of course, you have a hood above that, microwave there, storage all across the top. Kind of open that up, give you an idea of what you're working with there. So good storage. A uh, couple electrical outlets, so if you need to plug anything in, you have the capability to do that, whether it's, you know, like an extra like griddle or a toaster, coffee maker, whatever, you have the electrical outlets. Beautiful solid surface countertops, which of course allows you to undermount the stainless steel bowl high rise pull down faucet so that way it's easier to wash and rinse dishes uh, also underneath that you have some decent storage here now normally i would say that you know i wish they would have put space for a trash can but you actually do have it it's just over to the side i'll show you in just a moment and also four very large full extension drawers you'll see that it does come with a nice big drying rack this does go all the way across the sink there so that way you can kind of use that as prep space as well as, well, a drying rack. Then as we come right around to the side, as I promised, take a look right there. You can open that up. That is where you'd put your trash can. So it's, you know, a little bit out of the way of the kitchen, but still, uh, at least they gave you a spot for it. So it's not just, you know, hanging on your poles. And then you'll have another slide out here. So you have opposing slides in this living area, which really helps to open this space up, feel nice and big. Plus. You know, I'm six foot tall. You can see here, I have plenty of ceiling height in a travel trailer, which is wonderful. And again, the sides of the slides, the windows actually open. So you can get a cross breeze through here. You also have a window in the back, storage up top. Beautiful, uh, your, your leatherette seating here, Thomas Paine collection. Both of these recline. You can see you have a cup holder in the center and on both sides. And you'll also see you have some features. You have the light you can turn on and off. A massage feature which you can't hear but trust me it's happening and you also have a heat function so that way you can uh, turn on the heat so it gets you know again nice and toasty 
And that, especially in conjunction with that fireplace, does a great job of kind of, again, just, you know, helping to take that chill off. And then you also have an additional sofa right there, kind of midship. So if you have people that, you know, are coming to visit and you want to talk and hang out and sit down, this gives them a spot to do it. Plus, if you need a place for guests to sleep, this is it. You'll see this is a tri-fold sofa. So this drops down and pulls out. Uh, definitely, you know, large enough for one person, two people if they're okay cuddling. This is a perfect spot for them. Comes with a picture frame there. So your first trip out, you can take a picture, have memories for years to come. I, I think that's a pretty cool little feature. Electrical outlet up top and then more storage there. So we make our way around. You will see your control panels are all located here. Everything you want from you know, your awnings, your slides, to lights, thermostat there as well. And then over to the side is the bathroom. So, the bathroom you'll see has a porcelain foot flush lever toilet. The porcelain bowl is nice and easy to clean, which I really like. One of the things you'll see above is that you have storage, but more, you know, great spot for toilet paper and whatever else, but more importantly is this right here. I really like this feature. I know it's kind of tough to get in there with the camera, but this is the Level Mate Pro. So what you do is you touch this button and that syncs up to your cell phone and you can download an app. And what you will do is that actually will show you how level the RV is. So when that's really helpful is when you're backing into your campsite, you know, and a lot of the campsites are kind of all over the place, you can kind of find the most level spot before, you know, putting your blocks in. So it requires less block work. So I think that's a, a pretty neat feature to have included. The shower in here is also quite large. You'll see when I step in here, I have plenty of room. You know, I can darn near do jumping jacks if I wanted to. And ceiling height, folks, I mentioned I'm six foot tall. You know, there's a big skylight in here. I can probably be six four and still stand in here without having to duck down, which is awesome. You'll also see the, uh, the hand wand there makes showering up a little bit easier. And then right outside, mirrored medicine cabinet. You know, you have an actual medicine cabinet, not just a plastic one, it's actual wood, which is nice. Underneath that, your uh, countertop is a big stainless steel bowl. Your tank monitoring panel is tucked away in there. It's always a good place to know where that's at, or a good thing to know where that's at, rather. And then underneath, you have some additional storage. And then when we step up into the master bedroom, you will see here, you have the slide out king bed. This is a 70 by 80 inch king. So what that means is it's essentially two inches narrower than your residential king size bed, but it's still pretty darn close, folks. So nice big bed, plenty of space. You'll see the decorative wall board in the back, you know, kind of like that, almost like pallet board or reclaimed wood look. I, I really like that. I think it looks pretty sharp. Storage across the top, storage underneath the bed. Lift that up so you can take a look there. And you move right around to the side, open this up for you. Well, kind of, there you go. Open that up for you so you can take a look there. Nice big wardrobe space. You know, you do, as you can see, I kind of have to move the bed just a tiny bit, because you know, if you have the mattress over, your, your doors hit a little, but that's easy enough to, uh, to kind of work around. You also have an electrical outlet right down below. And if you take a look at the very front, again, you have that reclaimed wood look. You have kind of a nice like sofa or bench seat here. You have the storage right in the back. You have some shelves there with electrical outlets, USB ports. That beautiful front windshield, I love that. Lets a lot of natural light in and you know lets you look out the front. If you have a nice view, you can certainly enjoy that. Storage up top there and on the sides, including a couple more wardrobes. So not only do you have the big wardrobe to the side, but you have two more on either side right here in the nose. Uh, you'll also see that you have the window there and then, as I promised, a second fireplace. Now, Again, I know you're thinking, well, what do I need a fireplace in the bedroom for? Now, it's mounted high, so you can see it, you know, get to get that kind of ambiance, get the mood going, if you know what I mean. Uh, but more importantly is the fact that because this is a smaller room, if you close that door, this will do a really good job, actually, of heating up this room because it is a smaller room. So, again, if you don't want to run the fire or the uh, propane, it's just the two of you, turn that guy on. I think you'll be pretty happy with it. You'll also see storage underneath. You have three drawers there in the center. And if you want TV in the bedroom, they showed you exactly where the backer is and your connections for it are right up top. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Sport Trek 336 VRK Touring Edition. 
right up front is your power tongue jack. This of course makes it a lot easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. You also have a light right up there in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night and a manual override in the rare event that the motor does fail. Behind that you have two 30 pound tanks with a cover there. Uh, sorry, 30 pound propane tanks. <laughs> and then right behind that you will see rails for your battery and also you have a battery disconnect. So that way you can just flip this disconnect right here and it will kill all power to the RV so you don't have that slow parasitic drain. Also right up front is your beautiful front cap. This is a true front cap, folks. You'll see that this actually wraps around to the side. So that way, it's uh, the big advantage of it. One, it gives you a little bit of extra insulation, but more importantly, is the fact it's a lot harder for water to penetrate. Because normally where your seal is right here, the water's beating on it as you're driving down the road. But now, the water actually has to make its way into the back and then back up and through, which chances are it's just not going to happen. You also see that big, beautiful front windshield and the LED light strip right up top. Making our way back a little bit further, you'll see this one does have solar prep. Simply buy portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. Take a look inside the pass-through. You'll see the same size door on both sides. Not a huge pass-through, but it's definitely passable. And then if you take a look a little bit further back, you'll see this one has not one, but two controls for your stabilizer jacks. The, way, the reason I say that is because you'll actually have two up front and two in the back, and that's normally not the case. Normally one control will operate the front two. This one, each jack has individual controls, so you actually get full control over your stabilizer jacks. You also see that you have two power awnings on here. You have the main one and the secondary one on the slide itself. The secondary one is armless, because that's the only way they could make it fit. So. Excellent awnings, again, just touch a button, roll those out, same thing to go back in, and they have LED lights on them. You'll also see your outside speakers, which light up there, which are kind of cool. Those are connected to that multimedia center inside. And this unit has frameless windows, which not just look a lot nicer, but you can have them open while it's raining and you won't get a ton of water in there. Plus, the seals are better protected because they are behind the glass. You can see, you know, kind of like the seals right here and so that way they're not getting nearly as beat up by the elements, UV, and everything else. The steps are the More Ride Step Above Step System. Wonderful step system, very, very sturdy. You can see I can kind of hop up and down here. They hardly flex aluminum treads so they don't rust. Plus you have the grip tape on there, large grab handle, which gives you some uh, extra control when entering or exiting the RV. You also see that you have a nice little bottle opener here. They have upgraded this over the years. It used to be all steel and they had some issues with rust. <laughs> no surprise there. So they swapped it out and you'll see here now it works much, much better. Uh, you know, you get all the form and the function. You don't have to worry about having to replace it anytime soon. If we take a look underneath the RV, one of the things you will notice here is that this one has a fully enclosed heated and insulated underbelly. So that way if you're out in some colder climates, your tanks and everything will stay a little bit warmer. You also see your spare tire is located right there. Not the most convenient spot ever. It's definitely more convenient when it's on the when it's on the back. But when we go back there, you'll see that there's some other stuff back there, so they're forced to put it underneath. Now, one of the things I do love about this RV is it's not a bunk model, and it has, you guessed it, an outside kitchen. So you'll see here, you can open that guy up. You have uh, two burners there. You also have a little drop down, little sponge or soap tray, of course your sink, faucet. Pull this out, you'll see all of your connections for your LP gas line, for your cooktop, also your little spray port there, and then your, uh, your faucet itself. You'll see the refrigerator over to the side for condiments, beverages, storage up top. You also have hookup for TV, so if you want an outside TV, that is where you can hook it up at. If we do come around to the back, you'll see a couple things back here. Again, as I mentioned, you have two more controls for the power stabilizer jacks, an electrical outlet located there. You have the re uh, rear bumper, square tubular bumper with end caps. You have a spot to store your sewer hose, but as I mentioned, rather than having a spare tire, because you know you could mount the spare tire to this rack, but then it takes off the weight that you're allowed to put on here. So I personally do, do prefer the choice of putting it underneath. That way you get full, uh, full access to this rack here. You can drop that guy down. You can put you know, totes on there. You can put wood on there. Uh, you know, really whatever you want. Bikes, it has this uh, thing right up here that stands up so you can attach bikes there. It really is a great extra rack. And then you'll see here you have the drop down ladder so that way you can climb up onto the fully walkable roof. 
and you also have backup camera prep. That way, if you want a backup camera, having the prep makes it a lot easier to install, meaning it'll save you money on labor. Last couple things I want to touch on, you will see your black tank flush is located right up here. And on the front slide underneath the bed, if you can take a peek in there, you will see you have access to the storage underneath the bed from the outside. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2020 Sport Trek 336 VRK. For price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Also, let me know in the comment section what you liked, what you didn't like, what you think they nailed, or what you think they missed. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.